Hi guys and girls and welcome back to Dr. Dave. So today we're going to be talking about dropped frames, skipped frames, lag within OBS or Streamlabs. So the easiest option to help with stutter etc is this little pop up down the bottom. Make sure you've turned anything off that you don't need running. And you can also go into your task manager and turn off anything in there that is running that you don't need. Because all the time that you've got things open in this window that you don't need open, they're using resources from your computer. So another little thing is down here on this little graph, you can see that my CPU on average is in the 2.7 to 4.4% of CPU usage. That's just running OBS. That's Streamlabs OBS, obviously. This is just running it. it. This isn't streaming. I haven't got a game going or anything yet. So that's the little that's the little graph. Um, another thing that you can do is go to your settings, and then within settings, you're going to go to stream. Uh, nope, sorry. You're going to go to output. If you are running a nvidia graphics card you should and i mean should be using the new nvenc encoder people go oh you're putting a load on your graphics card no you are not this is a separate part of the graphics card that was deliberately put there for you to encode and to stream from if you are running x264 you are using cpu power instead of using the onboard chip that is nvenc on your nvidia graphics card so essentially if you've got an nvidia graphics card and you're st still streaming from x264 you're essentially wasting that chip that is in already integrated into your graphics card right so that's that like i said if you're using an nvidia graphics card make sure that you are using nvenc new and if you're still having stutter and lag, etc., turn your bit rate down. So many people start off and they ram the bit rate through the roof without doing an internet check. So you go on to speedtest.net, you check what your upload speed is, and then you work out an average on your internet that you're not using all of the upload bandwidth and set yourself a bit rate. So I'm on 18 to 20 upload and I'm using 5,000 bitrate. You can use a bitrate of as low as 2,500. But by doing so, you will see artifacting. If you're playing a first-person shooter, you'll see artifacting around the gun and you know some little bits of blocky um, graphic because you're using such a low bitrate. But if that's all that you can use, that's all that you can use. And then obviously the presets. On the presets, you want to be using what is good for your computer specs. You know, the higher up the list, the less CPU intensive the profile will be. For me, I run an i9 and a 1080 graphics card, so I can use low latency. You might not be able to, and don't try, you know, Go step by step, put your stream onto private, do a stream with the top preset, go back, review the stream, and then check and go down the list until you get, you know, stream stutter, dropped frames, etc. Then you just back down by one step. So that's another easy option. And then also another thing that you guys probably didn't know is if you open up, if you right click on Streamlabs OBS and you run this as an, as an administrator, that means that your computer will give Streamlabs priority over the CPU and the GPU power. When you open up a game, it's native for the PC to give your game as much CPU and as much GPU power as possible because it is a full screen application game. You know, so by you running Streamlabs in administration mode, 
your computer's going to go, okay, we're going to give as much CPU and GPU power to Streamlabs instead of giving it all to the game, which then in turn means that Streamlabs won't drop so many frames if you are still dropping frames. You need to go back to the steps that we spoke about before. But always open up Streamlabs in administration mode so it knows, so the PC knows to give Streamlabs as much CPU and GPU input as possible. You might come down on your frames inside the game. You know, so if you were, say, for instance, running, I don't know, maybe 150 frames, you may come down to 100 frames. But so what? Long as you are not going under 30 frames in the game and your stream is silky smooth, that is good. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, well, I'm only getting these frames, I'm only getting these frames. It doesn't matter what frames you're getting in the game. Long as your stream is going out to the internet and is as smooth as possible, what does it matter how many frames you're getting in the game? You know, the gameplay is smooth. The stream is smooth. That is all that matters. You know, people go on and buy gaming PCs because they want the best frame rate. But the only problem is when you are a streamer, you have got to compromise your... You've got to compromise between the power going all to your game and split that power between your streaming source, which is obviously OBS or Streamlabs OBS, and your gameplay. So you need to share what you've got in your PC graphics-wise and CPU-wise between two products. So I hope this helped you guys and girls. That's going to be the end of the video. And as always, I've been Dr. Dave. You guys have been amazing, and we will catch you next time. So bye for now.